Hi, my name is Carolyn Thrower, and I'm a 2012 candidate for the Hackensack Board of Education. As a mother of two who attend Hackensack Public Schools, I find that this is a critical time for us to be involved in our children's education. As a mother of two children who is currently attend the Hackensack Public School System and the current second vice president of the Hackensack Middle School PTA, I understand the importance of, our, of us being involved in our children's education. I am a certified teacher, K through 12, and I also have a degree, a Bachelor of Science in Psychology and a Bachelor of Arts in Sociology. I want to make sure our teachers get the support and the materials they need to develop a curriculum that is forth forthcoming in 21st century. I believe that our students deserve it. I believe that our parents, we have parents that want it. I believe that if we as a whole come together and voice our concerns, which I'm willing to listen to as a board member, we will get the results that we all want. My commitment and dedication to serve a three-year term on this Board of Ed is so to ensure that your children are getting what they deserve. It's to ensure that we're working as hard as we can to provide and, and the needs of every child, not just the few. Um, there are no political agendas or self-interest. As a parent concerned with our failing school system, I am a voice for our children. I'm a voice for accountability and stability within our school system. It is important that you get out. You get out and you voice your concerns. You become a voice for our children. You become a voice by voting. It is important to vote. I thank you for your time and consideration. I look forward to your support. And don't forget, vote line two, Carolyn Thrower, and become a voice for our children. Hi, I'm William Rusiello, and I'm running for school board. I'm a lifelong resident of Bergen County. I grew up here, and I've been a resident of Hackensack since 1988. I live and work here. I'm a homeowner. I have, uh, I'm an attorney in private practice. My office is right here in Hackensack, so I'm part of the community. I'm committed to the community, and I want to help the community. This is why I'm running for school board, because we have to uh, maximize our resources right now. This is a time of limited resources, and we have to get greater efficiency from our resources and uh, obtain everything that we are entitled to. With regard to uh, last year, just for an example, last year, um, the school board did not use a government grant of $100,000 and as a result uh, of it not being used, that money is now lost forever. We cannot afford that kind of oversight. And if I'm elected, I will make sure that we obtain every government grant that we are entitled to and we use every government grant that we are entitled to. I've spoken to an elementary school teacher who told me that her class does not have textbooks because of budgetary problems. She only has readers, five readers, and they have to be photocopied for the rest of the class. I've spoken to a recent graduate who told me that his social studies, studies textbook was over 40 years old. Now when you have situations like that, you know something seriously wrong. Um, so, we have got to do something about that. We've got to give our students the tools to the 21st, uh, for the 21st century. And we've got to uh, come up with new ways of handling our, uh, our resources. So, I ask that uh, one, of, one of the, one of our um, programs, or one, one uh, way of maximizing our resources is by going green, for instance. And, uh, you know, we could obtain solar panels and we could do other energy saving um, programs. 
We could get government grants for that, so that would save us money and it wouldn't cost us anything. This is the kind of new approach that we need now. <clears throat> when five out of six of our schools are not uh, uh, have a 40% rate in which we are not uh, have not reached um, uh, are below academic standards and when the state is threatening to uh, take over our school system you know something seriously wrong we need change we need new approaches and that is what I want to bring to to the school board so I ask for your support and I ask that you vote for me on line four on April 17th and together I believe we, we can accomplish something for the children, for the homeowners, for the taxpayers, and for the community. Thank you. Let's get back to the basics. A voice for our children. The, the answer, answer is vote, vote line two and line four. four.